best. Just your best today, right here, right now. Together. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, three, six, seven, eight, three, six, 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 five, six, I've been saying this now for years. The argument has been for years and years. Brady or Manning? And now it's Brady or Rogers. I'd like to move the two bar stools apart and insert Drew Brees. I know Rodgers is great, but here's, here's a Drew Brees teammate, an offensive lineman who recently retired. Can you see an Aaron Rodgers teammate saying this? For the past eight years, I've played in front of the most prolific passer in NFL history. Drew Brees has been the single greatest motivation for me as a player. Every day I would walk into the building and pass Drew watching film. My greatest drive as a player was not to let you down. You're the greatest leader I've ever been around. And I admire you so much as a player, but more as a person. I will miss being around you on a daily basis. Thank you for everything that you've done and continue to do. That's pretty special. It's so bad. Once you get the first hiccup, it's and, over. Then, and, then, and then you can feel it welling up, and then it's a wrap. It's Drew, really sweet, though. Drew Brees is the greatest player in league history to not win an MVP. He will win it this year and should absolutely win it. Mahomes is great. <laughs> so is Big Ben, Andrew Luck. But Brees gives you all the upside without any turnovers. One all year. Mahomes has seven. That's incredible. One all year. I get all the genius. And I'll, let me just say this, Joy, about history. When I think of the internet and the, not, not the founders, but the two most important people on the growth of the internet, it's Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. History will be far more kind to Bill Gates. He has given away over $50 billion to the underprivileged, the oppressed countries and people. They surmise he'll give away three times that by the time he passes, $150 billion. Maybe Steve Jobs was smarter. Maybe he was cooler. But he was a little bit of a jerk. Is that history is already being written about Jobs, and it's not kind. It will be incredibly kind to Bill Gates. His giving, his philanthropy, the marriage, the company, his decency. Drew Brees in those pregame speeches. Drew Brees' teammates crying saying he's the greatest person they've ever known. You just don't see that with the other guys. You just don't. They love him, and he's going to win the MVP. And I don't think the Rams are good enough to win in New Orleans, and I don't think Minnesota's good enough to win in New Orleans, and I don't think anybody in the NFC is good enough to win in New Orleans, and I'm not sure anybody in the AFC, even with two weeks to prepare, is good enough to beat New Orleans. I don't care about awards. I, I don't, I'm not into the Heisman. I'm not into MVPs. Have no problem acknowledging this year. For the first time in my life, I care. I want Drew to win it. Uh, by the way, I, I know that for a brief second, Tom Brady thought he was smarter than Belichick. For a moment, Malcolm Butler was smarter, and Danny Amendola was smarter, and I was smarter, and we were all smarter than Bill Belichick when he just gives those players away. You do recall that um, Gronk admits that Belichick tried to trade him this offseason to Detroit. Brady stepped in and said, no, you do not. Um... I'm reading a story about Gronk today. Says the writer in New York, he is a decrepit version of his former indestructible self, a beaten and battered prize fighter who looks sad and lost. If you love football, you'll want to remember Rob Gronkowski, the way he should be remembered, strong, powerful, leaping tall buildings in a single bound. You want to see him crush poor saps, unlucky enough to be assigned to tackle him. You know what? He's not even the best Owski on the Patriots anymore. He's not. The kicker is Steven Goskowski. Not Rob Gronkowski. Hasn't topped 100 yards since week one. 49th in receiving yards. Bill Belichick was right. Again, he wanted to trade Gronk and would have gotten probably a second round pick for him. For the record, Gronk may have a really good post-Thanksgiving 
But Bill Belichick does something that is really smart and few do it. And I don't think it's a bad thing. He falls in like with players. Most coaches fall in love with them. I've said it this year. People are banging on Tom Brady for his numbers. If I told you, let's forget the names, that Tom Brady this year, here is weapons, a rookie running back who's been hurt most of the year, a brittle tight end about to retire, a slot receiver past his prime off an ACL surgery, and Josh Gordon, who hasn't been able to stay clean for five years. Oh, yes, and Philip Dorsett, a bust in Indy, and now a guy in New England. Brady, is he is doing it with smoke and mirrors, he and Josh McDaniel. It's smoke and mirrors right now. Um, Gronk's probably got a little left, not much, but Belichick once again, was right. First time ever, Blazing Five on a Wednesday pre-Thanksgiving. Off another winning week, by the way. We had the Chiefs plus three and a half, half point one at Blazing Five. Coming up next. A top secret celebrity.